Tim Tower. Um, Matt on Facebook wants to know how many QBs, and I'm going to work in their form, like consistent starting QBs right now for teams. So not, maybe not like Colt McCoy today for the, for Washington, but how many QBs would yeah, you legitimately stinks. take over <laughs> or uh, take Kirk Cousins over? Like, is there anybody that you're going to pass on to have Kirk Cousins rather list, yeah. than? I'm going to pull up a list. Uh, that's a great question. Um, so you're saying that how many would we, how many quarterbacks would we take Kirk Cousins over? Yep. So would you like, okay. obviously I think you're going to take him over Colt McCoy. I today. think Kirk Cousins is third in this division for me. I would take him instead of Mitch Trubisky. I think Mitch Trubisky stinks. I agree. Um, I 100% agree with that assessment. And, though, and so it's Roger Stafford. Cousins Trubisky. Yes, right? that's where I'm at in the NFC North. So All right, let, third, let me throw some names at you. I've got a list right now of uh, I've got I've got a quarterback list of guys who've started here. I'm just gonna start it by QB. I'm just gonna throw some names at you. In either or, okay? Right now, and sh- should we say right now for the next year and a half? Because that's the length for of the Kirk duration Cousins of his contract. contract sure. Okay, Daniel Jones. I would take Daniel Jones. Just I think that that kid's gonna be good. But for the next only for the next year and a half. I mean, I'm taking Kirk Cousins for the next year and a half. I don't know. If it's the next five years, I'll gamble with Daniel Jones. I don't know. I might take Daniel Jones for the next year and a half, too. How about Lamar Jackson? I would take Kirk Cousins. I don't think Lamar Jackson can throw very well. I think, and I told this to AJ earlier today, the Baltimore Ravens right now are like playing the NFL's version of a service academy, where if you are in front of them by 10 points, you have that game won. They just, they can't keep up with you because they're going to run the ball. I don't think Lamar Jackson is very accurate as a passer. I would take Kirk Cousins over him. See, I would take Lamar Jackson, but here's my here's my asterisk. I, I guess a question to the question, AJ. Do I get the salary cap space that I that I gain by having Lamar Jackson to pump into something else? Do I get to use those resources to pump them into something else? Because yeah. if that's the case, I take Daniel Jones. You do, yes. You get the whole situation. Then I take Lamar Jackson and Daniel Jones. I still think I take Kirk Cousins over Lamar Jackson, but I take Daniel Jones over both of them. I'm with Phil on this one. Daniel Jones, I think, get, I mean, there's nothing really flashy other than Saquon Barkley, and he didn't even have him today for the Giants offense. With Minnesota, I think he's throwing like dimes, not to be that guy, but he's oh, throwing dimes. Oh, you're that guy. And then Lamar Jackson in this offense, you could have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Imagine me, how much better the New York Giants would be with like just a stud wide receiver. I can't recall one, though, in, no, in recent I mean, years, though. No, just imagine. Crazy, man. They it's been one. a while since they've had one, right? If they had one. Uh, all right, what about Joe Flacco, 34-year-old Joe Flacco? A year and a half of Flacco or a year and a half of Cousins? I'll take Cousins. Joe Flacco sucks. What's what's Flacco's contract? I, that's my deciding uh, factor. Isn't it like $15 million, $18 million, something like that? How much more space are you getting there? Because that might be worth it. They are very comparable quarterbacks right now, Phil. Andy Dalton. Cousins makes more than Andy Dalton. I know. I was I'll thinking take about that. I think I I'll would take, take cousins. cousins over Dalton. <laughs> Andy Dalton. Uh, Jameis Winston. Jameis has been really good this year. He's he been, was pretty bad today. But he's had a good year so far. Um, eat those he, W's. He No, he eats W's. Um, he's going to be a free agent after this year, though. So his contract situation is very much so up in the air. Jimmy Garoppolo. I would take Jimmy G. I'm not a Jimmy G believer, but I would take him over Kirk Cousins. I'll still take Cousins. I need I need to see more out of Jimmy G. I think I'm a, I'm a long term Jimmy G believer, but would you believe that he's already 28 years old too? So they're almost yeah, the same age. I would. Age. He's not that good. Um, what about uh, Jacoby Brissett? Would you take Cousins or Jacoby Brissett? Again, you get the money difference too. I might next take, year and a half. I might take Brissett. I'll take Cousins. I don't know, man. That money difference. Because a lot of these guys are really close or, or in fact, tied with what Kirk Cousins is as far as talent level and ability right now. But the money difference is going to change things for me. How about uh, – oh, this, is, this is a fun game. This is great. I'll, I'll give you two more and then we'll move on. Marcus Mariota. I'm good to do all the quarterbacks. Just... <laughs> yeah. I'll take Kirk Cousins over Marcus Mariota. Yeah, He's me, me too. Marcus Mariota is not very good. Case Keenum. Mark, uh, Kirk, oof. Props to you for saving him last. <laughs> I'll take what's, Kirk Cousins over Case. Case making? Case Keenum's so bad. $18 million. Yeah, I'd take Kirk. Okay. So Case you saved 10. I mean, that, this is, it's funny because this is exactly what the Vikings were doing behind closed doors a year and a half ago, too. All right. Okay, but you, you said Case, you Case Keenum or Kirk Cousins. You didn't say Teddy Bridgewater. Because I, I think I know the answer. I'd we take both Teddy. take Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. And I think, I think about half the people watching and listening would take Teddy Bridgewater. Would you take Josh Allen? I got to be honest, I have I have not seen enough of him to make a judgment on that. I've only seen highlights of him. So I would I would 
I would just be going off his numbers. What about Josh Rosen? Kirk Cousins. I don't know. For the next year and a half, Kirk Cousins. I don't if know. If you're asking me for the next five years, Josh Rosen. But, well, but, but specifically, we said year and a half. So I'm going Kirk Cousins the next year and a half because I think they can win a Super Bowl with the right guy next year. I might year go Josh Rosen. How about Sam Darnold right now with the mono? <laughs> um, I think Darnold's got some game. But again, Kirk Cousins is better than Sam Darnold for the next year and a half. I'm not but a I want Sam Darnold, Darnold for the next five or ten years? Absolutely. I'm not a Sam Darnold believer. Darnold threw way too many picks at USC. He, he turned did. the ball over all the time. And from my experience watching football, when you go from playing power five football, which is really difficult to do, to playing at the highest level in the world, your accuracy doesn't tend to improve. You don't take care of the ball much better. So for that reason, I'm out on I'm out, I'm out on Josh Allen too, but I'm out on Sam Darnold. Okay, one, one more. Gardner Minshew. Gar- give me Gardner. I I'll think take that Gardner too. Deal. Sorry, Kirk, man. I'm taking Gardner Minshew. And the mustache that comes with him? <laughs> you can't pass on that. I think – did you guys see the Uncle Rico skit that they did yes, on ESPN? it was amazing. 